Hello and welcome to our video. My name is Shaden and I'm with GMDev. And in this video, we'll look at the, another add on for JD Builder that is the Joomla Articles add on. Now, this is the missing piece of the puzzle. This is something we have been missing from day one and we want it to get done as soon as possible. And the time has arrived. This lets you access uh, Joomla's articles inside JD Builder. And you can display them as you like in a grid, you know, in a, in a list or whatever. And and uh, gives you a lot more control. Let's go ahead and add one real quick. So the prerequisite for this tutorial is make sure you have Joomla installed, JD Builder installed, and uh, you're on the editing screen. And then I'll go ahead and add it. So you can see we have the articles here. The very first thing is now uh, in the basic settings we'll look at is a category. You have the ability to select a particular category. So I can say I want category blog and I want to include subcategory uh, sub articles or not. Then I can say the count I want. Then I can do whether I only want featured articles or I want to have all kinds of articles. And then I have the option to order them as well. So a variety of options as far as what and how you want your content. Now once you have your content then comes the layout so this is the default grid that you have you can go list which is this now you can see these articles below and don't have images but it does create a blank space there and then you can go list alternate which where it would automatically move the image to the side you know left right like even not like you see in style tables or stuff like that and you have the control to hide the thumbnail and the intro text if you want. So you can only display the title and the read more and you know some additional information. Then you have the meta, if you what you want to display. So here we have control over the metadata. You can display modified date, category, author, uh, or, or you can display nothing. And you know you can order these two. So I can say publish date first and then the author. You know, oh, the author is number one. Now, well, you can order these, but you do have the control to uh, control to decide whether you want to have these things or not. Then the next option is the meta icons. So you can say if you want to have the meta icon. So let me just add a few more, and you can see whether or not you want to have the meta icon. And so the icons are here next to it and they go away and they come back. Uh, the date format is really helpful. So uh, this has a big limitation that has been on here uh, in, in pretty much every system, unless uh, you know how to do this right. You always have this limitation where uh, the default date format isn't really what you need. You know, it's the opposite what you need. So uh, you can look up the PHP documentation you know, there's a link there which tells you what you need. So there's a day, there's a month, there's a everything. But really, all you have to do is, let's say you're in the, you're in the, well, this is the UK, but let's say you're in the US, okay, where they have the month first. So all you do is you type in M, D, and Y. So you have month and date and year. Simple as that. You do a lowercase Y, that gets you a smaller year. You get a lowercase m that gets you the numerical uh, month. So you can very well do this, and then you have the date format you need. Uh, all right, almost here. Okay, so you can do that. So this this is really simple. This gives you a lot of control as far as the layout of this particular thing, which is something that everyone wants. You don't have to go to language overwrite. You don't have to do any code to just to modify this. So there's that. Then you can modify and change the meta styling. So these colors, you can change the text color and you can change the icon color. The icon color is only valid if you have the icon turned on. If you turn it off, then it's no longer relevant. We just change this back to default colors because it kind of looks weird. Okay, this is good. Then you have the spacing. Now this is a spacing between the icons. So I'm gonna keep it like 11 pixels or something and you can responsive uh, is the spacing so you can select how you want the spacing to work on desktop or tablet and whatnot uh, then you have the common settings 
uh, the read more text and you can say uh, follow or anything for that uh, matter you can say if you want to have the link on title or thumbnail or title and thumbnail both of them right now we have the link on title uh, you have the view more and the view more link the view more is actually applicable let me turn on intro text and the view mode is actually at the bottom. So uh, let's say you're trying to display five, six articles or 10 articles. At the bottom, you wanna send the user somewhere. That's where the view mode comes into play. So the view mode is not really a repeatable thing. It's something that appears at the end. So you just say more articles here. And then someone can just uh, click here. Oh, I got a typo here. I still got a typo. Someone can just click and then you can decide what menu this should go to. So this is not articles, this is menu item. So you just point them to a menu item and the link would go there. So there you have the view more articles link here. Then you have this title styling. You can style how you want your title to work, whether you want them to be headings, paragraphs, whatever, just basic stuff. Then you have the styling for the content, which is this part. Then you have the read more styling. So you can decide how you want the read more to work. Again, we changed the read more to follow, but this is really just read more. And you can decide if you wanna want it to be big or you want it to be small. You can also add an icon to read more. So maybe an icon like this. This doesn't make, uh, the address book doesn't make sense, but you know, uh, maybe a read icon, reading icon. There must be one. Uh, yeah, good, not good reads. Okay, there you go. There's the icon. You can animate the icon as well. So when you mouse over, the icon would move a little back. And then you have the button styling. So you can style this whole thing however you want it. The mouse over. You can put a gradient on here if you want to. So a lot of options as far as how you want it to look. And then last option is obviously a view more styling. So this is what I was looking for to see if I can... Uh, move this around a little and then you can you can do a little bit here so it gives you a little bit of, of options as far as what you can and what you cannot do but this is in a nutshell the article element this gives you a lot of options a lot of flexibility as far as what you want to do and this again like I said in the beginning is the missing piece of the puzzle something we wanted to do on day one but we couldn't but now it's here uh, I hope you liked the video. If I missed anything, please post down in the comments down below or on our forum at joomdev.com forum and we'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you for tuning in.